evening everybody, welcome, Keto Greg. This evening I'm going to make um, chocolate chip cookies. Now this ingredient, all it does is just make two cookies, so obviously it stops you overeating cookies. If you make a load of them, you tend to eat them, don't you? Well I do anyway. What we're going to need today is, I use this almond flour by Kirkland, okay, because I think it's one of the best, because there's only about two net carbs per serving, okay. And I will put a link to that underneath, guys, if you want to do it. And also, we're going to need some swerve, and I use this, okay, confectionery swerve, because there's no calories and no net carbs in it at all. Okay, and then we need uh, some coconut, um, coconut oil, which I'm going to put in the microwave now, just for about 15 seconds. And then we're going to melt that for 15 seconds, and then just set it to one side. We're also going to need some vanilla extract, an egg yolk, some chocolate chips as well, and a little pinch of salt. So, let's make them. Okay. We've melted our oil, which is here, so we're just going to set that to one side for a minute. First thing we're going to add is half a cup of the blanched almond flour. And then we're going to add three tablespoons of the swerve we're also going to add just a pinch of salt and then we're going to add just a half a teaspoon of vanilla extract and then half a tablespoon of chocolate chip cookies uh, egg yolk and then we're just going to get our spatula in and give that all a good mix together so we've got it this far now so now you can pour the oil in coconut oil So we're looking for like a crumble type texture. Like so. And now we can get our hand in and bring it all together. There we go. What we need to do is to split this into two. Because we are going to make two cookies, like I said. So all we do is put it on a baking tray. Just squash it down. Bringing the sides together. There we go. And what I've done this time, I've just kept a few of the chocolate chips back so we can push them into the top. Which just gives it that little bit of extra goodness, doesn't it? And lucky. Okay, so we're going to pop them into the oven at 190 for about 10 minutes. Okay, so we're just going to set our timer, 10 minutes, there we go, there we go, bring them out of the oven, there we go people, that's them now brought out, and all we're going to have to do now is give them about 20 minutes for them to cool down, and then we'll be able to eat them. Hello, welcome back. Well, cookies are finished. Look at these. Just made the two, like we say. So, now we're going to come that amazing taste test. Yeah, 
amazing taste test. Mm. Oh. Mm. That's so crunchy. You can taste that coconut oil. If you like coconut, definitely. If you don't like coconut, then use butter instead of coconut oil. Because you can taste the coconut oil in it. But I like just a little bit of coconut and that's just enough for me. Absolutely lovely guys, ladies. Absolutely beautiful. Please try it. Let me know what you think. Bye for now. Take care.